Buchanan. Yes? Mr. Guy Buchanan. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Solly says that's for making a tulip farmer out of him. And here's one for your Irish friend. He wants it back. Every penny. 150,000. He's waiting to hear from you. Soon. He's gathered here, my brother. Friends, when I came to England, I knew God had sent me a mountain to climb. I knew in these days of tarnished values how difficult it had become for some of you to recognize the path of righteousness. I knew that. But I did not foresee how great a burden I would have to carry. And I did not know how steep was the mountain. But friends, I say to you now, I will climb that mountain. With God's help and your generosity, I will shoulder that burden. And I will rebuild Jerusalem right here in this green and pleasant land. So that when the day of Jubilo comes, we will be ready and waiting for the Lord and his chariots. Ready and waiting, I tell you. Our tickets paid, our seats are booked, our reservations made for those mansions in the sky. And I say to you now, friends, as our sisters of Jericho pass around our mission here today, I want you to dig deep in your purses and in your pocketbooks and give all you can afford and more so that between us we can build right here in England the first New Jerusalem theme park. Save too? No. And neither are you. Come on. Come on. Harry, you're hurting me. I know. Get in and move over. No, I can Get explain. in. about the pillows? Well, uh, well, anything else I can do for you, darling? 
Are you sure? Certain. Someone was quick at the mark. All right. So soon. Tulips from Amsterdam. Unfortunately. No name. No need. Emily, darling, you couldn't make a telephone call for me, could you? Come on, I'm not that bad. Just I know what you must think of me. I don't blame you for that, but I'm... I'm sorry. So am I. I am. You didn't believe me, did you? I found you easier to believe if you just opened your purse and wrote a check to Harry S. Cassidy for 125,000 pounds. I said, there you go, Harry C. I've been looking after it for you. Harry S. Cassidy? Yeah, S. As in stupid, simple, trusting, gullible, unsuspecting, easy taker for a ride, a 200 karat gold mug. S. For mug. Why would I hate you? Because you conned me into thinking that you cared for me. Because you took Buchanan and me for the idiots that we were. How was Buchanan? Poncing off a French divorce he had Kent. Really? Yeah. He finally made it lucky. Moved in with the ex-wife of a Parisian swindler who did a runner to Rena with an Egyptian acrobat. <laughs> Says he's given up the game for good. Buchanan, I mean. Oh, he's such a lovely man. He's a born-again louse. Don't mind him. The money, Flair. What happened to our money? This is what I'm trying to tell you. I haven't got it, any of it. Even Bertie took off with the whole lot. Your share, mine, and Buchanan's. What do you think I'm doing with Reverend Angelus? You mean it wasn't to find the road to salvation? He's a con man. I'm a con man, but you left me. He's a rich con man. How rich? Rich enough to take. Do you have a plan? I'm still trying to win my way into his confidence. But perhaps the two of us could... What are you talking about? I can't trust you. Seems kind of strange, little Fleur slipping away like that during pledging today, wouldn't you say? Mm, she was sick. She apologized. Oh, yeah. Pretty little thing. Just about as pretty as a picture. In fact, the sort of little girl you might go for. Ain't that right now? God damn it, Charity. Can't you see I'm taking care of business here? So long as it ain't that little fox's business you're taking care of. Hell, I hardly know the girl. Well, excuse me for spectating, but that was a trifle more than a brotherly smile you fixed on her when she arrived late this afternoon. Do we have to get this every time a new girl joins the sisters of Jericho? I don't know. You tell me. You're the one that can't keep from fornicating with her. For the love of us! Shreveport, Jacksonville, Oklahoma City. <laughs> oh, you remember her. Candy Culpepper. Cute as newborn Bambi she was, and then scratched you worse than a polecat. You through? And you, a martyr to your prostate. Charity, we shouldn't fall out like this. Isn't it better that we maximize the profitability of that new Jerusalem? Just so you don't forget, Josh. I'd hate to see everything we've worked for being blown away by some glad rag in gospel gear. Especially with me virtually on the eve of being voted England's first Pentecostal evangelical woman of the year. You worry about a thing, honey. Ain't nobody a more deserving woman of the year than Sister Charity DeAngelis. I always said a tulip farm sounded a bit Dutch. It was doing famously until the seawall broke and flooded the place. Oh, yeah, sure. But we sold it to Sully after the flood. I suppose he's thinking we should have told him the place was worthless before he parted with his money. Yeah. Oh. If we'd have known he was a violent, psychopathic mob leader with no sense of humor, we wouldn't have sold it to him in the first place. Psychopathic mob leaders can be very boring. Yes, well, boring or not, they could torture us with piano wire and garden shears and us in our stocking feet. And we still couldn't come up with 150 grand to buy the place back. You're next, of course. 
But don't worry. It only hurts until you lose consciousness. It doesn't start again until you come round. Oh, yes. Very elegant. Oh, thank you, Tony. Friends, only by our generosity can we show God that we love him. Only with your help can I build the new Jerusalem theme park right here in England. So I want all you good people to show God that England is still a Christian country and that his word still has meaning. And so tonight, brothers and sisters, his word is my word, and my word is give. Can you hear me? Give. Give. Flair, you took us on the scenic ride of treachery once. Now's your chance to make amends. De Angelis, you want his money? Yes, of course. There's loads of it. There's nothing worse than seeing a man of God with his hands in the pockets of the poor. I'll do anything you want. With what I have in mind, you may very well have to. Well, this is about the place just here. Why? The Lavender Bay Tulip Farm. The New Jerusalem Theme Park. We're closed until Easter. No call for it, you see. Um, you could try... Mrs. Frobisher? Yes, that's right, but we're closed. There's no staff. Mrs. Frobisher, my name is Buchanan, MI5. I wonder, could I speak to you in complete confidence? MI5? We're looking for a small hotel that we can use for a, a kind of conference. I can't say more, I'm sorry. I've been instructed to offer you Ten thousand pounds for the use of your hotel for two days. Ten thousand pounds. If your hotel is as suitable as I think it might be. Now I can't say that national security depends on this, but uh, your absolute silence must be guaranteed. And I'm afraid we'll have to ask you to vacate the premises for uh, the duration of the conference. Well, I say, would you like to look around? We're putting a team together, Gilbert, for a big one. Yeah, we got May and Harry Wilson and Willie Carpenter from Bristol. What we need now is an apothecary with a potion. Hmm? No. Of course you're not too old. Good man. I'll ring you later. Bye. Hello, Sophie. Harry Cassidy. Looking for a body makeup artist. Sophie, do I have the right number? Me. 
God bless you all. Sorry, staff only. He's with me. Welcome to God, brother. Oh, thank you very much. Truth ain't shining in your eyes today, little girl. I surely don't know what is. It was your sermon on the fruit machine of life, Brother Joshua. The lottery of opportunities we cast to the caprices of a colored rolling drum. Mm, I think it's so inspired. Poetic, almost. Well, thank you very much. Excuse me. Reverend, I wonder, might I have a word in your ear? I'm afraid I don't grant private audiences without advance notification. Not even if it's God's work. Well, if it's God's work, how can I help? By building the new Jerusalem on my land. <laughs> I'm sorry, but we haven't yet... I want you to have the most sacred place in England. Westminster Abbey? Lavender Bay Tulip Farm. Look, I'm very busy right now. The exact spot where St. Dominic first set foot on the soil of England and brought the message of Christ to the pagan people of these islands. Thank you. It's very interesting. And the most perfect place in the entire world to build the new Jerusalem theme park. I can let you have it for 200,000 pounds. Well, yes, I'll think about that. You can. Guy, you can. My people have been there since the Reformation. The monks had it before, of course. A sacred place and all that. You're really going to have to excuse me. Who the hell is that? Not some Jesus freak trying to make an easy buck. We have work to do now, sir. If you change your mind, I'll keep it for you. So Dominic would expect that of me at least. I won't say it's going to be easy, because it isn't. But with any luck, there should be rich pickings for every one of us. What's the uh, downside? Yeah. At worst, conspiracy to defraud. Plus excommunication from the First Assembly Christian Church of Jesus. And all incorporated <laughs> business ventures. <laughs> OK, Gilbert, what have you got for us? Is this the sort of thing perhaps you're looking for? <sighs> Philippe de Perron. That's exactly what we want. That's perfect. Honey, get the damn door. What time do they call this? Uh, Sister Charity to Angela. Yes. Harry Cassidy of the BBC. I wonder would it be possible to have a word with the Reverend? Of the BBC, did May you say? May we come in? Well, I don't rightly know. The Reverend is in, isn't he? Uh, we've had several calls from listeners who are worried about his plans to build a new Jerusalem theme park here in Britain. Calls to the station? Well, more like complaints, actually. What kind of complaints would they be, exactly? That you have been taking money from your congregation under false pretenses. Are we on the air? You're being recorded, Reverend, for possible inclusion in my program. Harry Cassidy investigates. In that case... I want to thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity to reassure all your listeners. In fact, then you do deny Mr. The... Cassidy, is it? Mr. Cassidy, I want to give you my word. Not one penny of all the kind contributions we've received will go anywhere but into the building of the new Jerusalem theme park. Would we be correct in understanding, then, 
that you have a site in mind. We are at this very moment negotiating with several developers over a number of sites. It has to be the right one. Oh, yes. Only the best will do for the good people of England. Isn't that right, Charity? That is absolutely right. So you deny the rumors that the proceeds from your British tour are going to a numbered account in Switzerland? That is the most despicable thing I think I've ever heard. Charity? I'll pray for you. I surely will. Thank you very much. And there you have it. An outright denial from the lips of the Reverend Joshua De Angelis. Doubtless, listeners will monitor the progress of the new Jerusalem theme park, wherever it may be. Okay for you, Willie? Fine for me. Well, we'll say goodbye now. Thank you very much to both of you. You've been very helpful. You say this program goes out Friday, right after the news. Goodbye now. What the hell do we have security for? Where were they? I want you to get on the reception right now and tell them if this ever happens again... Will you shut up? I got a problem. People are talking. It's time you began inspecting some properties. Let the world see you're doing something. God damn you nosy reporters. And I thought this was a free country. You can't afford any slur. Especially with the Evangelical Woman of the Year convention and all. Joshua, do you hear me? I hear you, Charity. I always hear you. Well, I hope so. Or you can kiss away the best livelihood you ever had. You remember that guy that uh, wanted to sell me his tulip farm? Mm -hmm. You have his card, I think I lost mine. Doubt it. I thought you weren't interested. Well, I might have been a little hasty. It is a sacred part of England he has that. Oh, there's Lucky. Guy Buchanan. Lavender Bay Tulip Farm. That's right. I think I'll go down there and take a look around. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Brother Joshua. I don't want to seem pushy or anything. I just thought perhaps I could come with you. We could go on a spiritual pilgrimage. You could give me special instruction. Well, uh... Sorry, I shouldn't have mentioned it. I just thought... Oh, no, I I'm glad you did. I'm truly glad you did. <laughs> Look, um, how far is this Lavender Bay away from here? 70, 80 miles. The roads are terrible. It'll probably take us two days. Two days? to do it properly. Hello, sunshine. We've got a message for you. Make it soon, or the only thing you'll be driving will be a wheelchair. I hate to tell you this, but it seems that the only time I can visit the sacred grounds of St. Dominic is tonight and tomorrow. What's that you're saying, Joshua? Well, I guess what I mean is that I won't be able to come to your Evangelical Woman of the Year convention after all. What? Well, that's the way it is, Charity. Sometimes it seems that God's work is never done. Joshua. Now, I want you to get yourself prettified up here. Being beautiful is a celebration of the Lord's majesty and creativity. Have a good time tonight, and I'll speak to you later. Joshua! Joshua, you come back here! Joshua! Joshua! Whatever happens, Mrs. Frobisher, you can rest assured that the department 
will always be in your debt for your selfless service today. <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps not quite so selfless. Ten thousand pounds, that had its attractions. As long as you don't forget the official secretary. Which I haven't yet signed. Which is on its way from Whitehall now. And will be waiting for you, along with your cheque, when you get back. Pounds. Well, I didn't want them to think that MI5 were a bunch of cheapskates. Ah, I see the troops have arrived. Okay, let's get this con on the road, shall we? Exhausted galley slaves resting across their oars, the legionnaires quaffing flagons of cheap wine, and St. Dominic being rowed ashore to convert the world-covered barbaric tribes of Britannicus. It's fantastic. I kind of never imagined the New Jerusalem theme park by the ocean. You could put Gethsemane over there. Calvary beyond the caravan. The River Jordan here. The Sea of Galilee in the marshes, and why not drive a path through the swamp to show where Moses parted the Red Sea? <laughs> yes. Yes, very, uh... That hotel you mentioned, is it very far? Uh, no, no, not far at all. You could put Bethlehem right beside the hamburger concession. Look, I usually take an hour with God at about this time. Maybe we could come back tomorrow. Of course, of course. Benediction and all that, is it? Just like the monks who used to be here. Well, not exactly. I don't go for no in. Reverend De Angelis doesn't believe in standing on ceremony when it comes to conversing with God. God prefers the direct way. I'm very pleased to hear it. Gilbert, the clock. Okay, everybody. This chap is up to his neck in most of the seven deadly sins. So our job now is to tempt him out of his death. They're coming! Okay, that's it, everybody, to your posts. Come on, Willie, we gotta disappear. Come on, Sophie, put your clothes on. Oh, I don't Here we are. Out of season. Hope it's not too quiet for you. The quieter the better. That's Reverend Angelis and... My assistant from Jesus. Oh, yes. We put you in adjoining rooms. The porter will bring your bags up. Gilbert, 9 and 10. Dinner is at 8 o'clock. What about you, Mr. Buchanan? Will you be staying tonight? Oh, oh I think so. Better than risking the old breath alive, wouldn't you, sir? Your usual room, then. Thank you. Hmm. Even a book at bedtime, eh? <laughs> yes, bathroom. Ah, there you are. You. Well, if everything's all right, I'll see you later, yes? Jolly good. God created Adam and Eve so different. And why he gave us his God-given gift of sexual attraction. And raised us up above the animals. So that I might enjoy you more fully. I 
think I should probably take a shower and you should get on with your praying. <laughs> Don't deny your feelings, Flora. God made us all in his own image and likeness. He made purity and he made temptation. And he knows the way I feel about you. But let us both pray for the strength to fight the temptation. Flora. Oh, no. You'll spoil it. God damn. I suppose she is safe in there, isn't she? What? Well, he is a bit crazed. <laughs> he will be. What about you? Everything ready? I've got enough stuff in here to do Nightmare on Elm Street. Good girl. Of course, we'll hate to see the land go out of the family. Henry VIII gave it to us, you know. He dissolved the monasteries and stole their land. I haven't said yet that I'm going to buy the land. I mean, it could be we'd be better located closer to London, or maybe up in the Midlands. Thank you. I hear there's a strong Christian community up around Birmingham. Really? I thought they were all Muslims up there these days. Of course, it's a wonderfully romantic idea, the footsteps of St. Dominic. Fleur, let me tell you something, sister. Every religion needs to be governed by strong business principles. I mean, we're, we're talking market forces here. Yes, of course. <laughs> Take a look at some of the titles and deeds the monks left behind. Perhaps they'll help you to decide. I surely will. Oh, please, this is on me. Thank you. Do you think the Last Supper was anything like this, Brother Joshua? What? I just want to thank you both so much. This has been one of the most wonderful days of my life. You've used this stuff before, Gilbert, have you? Not an aphrodisiac, if that's what you're thinking. It's the opposite, usually. You go out like a light. Well, I hope so. Right, they've just gone in. Promise me one thing. You aren't going to run away from me this time, are you? Tonight you're going to remember for the rest of your life. Surely do. Wait here while I get ready. Don't take too long about it, okay? Getting undressed. Next time we do this scam, Buchanan, we're using your girl as bait. Oh, for heaven's sake, Cassidy. Don't start getting unprofessional now. What do I want with a tulip farm? Glory, hallelujah. My mother had a bottle of this wine on her wedding night. It's a family tradition. What in night? The holy wine of communion, I suppose. The two in one flesh. Is that so? To 
two hundred pounds a bottle, so we better not waste any. To tonight. Tonight. May morning never come. Tonight, Brother Joshua, I want you to leave everything to me. No need for the brother. Morning. Your cup of tea. It's turned out nice again. Oh, my God. Don't come near me. What's going on? Oh, no. Don't touch me. Let's hold this racket. Oh, Lord. Is she... Call an ambulance. It's not an ambulance we need. It's the police. No. Wait. You can't. Read count. A girl has been found dead in your room, sir. A violent, horrible death. And you say we can't call the police. It's going like a dream. See you later. I got from downstairs. Come along, sir. No, please. I imagine you'll have plenty of time to think later. What? Well, you can't think that I... Hello. Good morning. What's all this? The World Council of Churches meeting? Oh, I say. You can it. Thank God you're here. What on earth's been going on? You've got to believe me. I just woke up. It wasn't me. What wasn't you? This wasn't. Oh, my. I didn't do it. She must have committed. I don't remember nothing. Suicide? Well, she was acting real strange last night. I just never thought. We must call the police. If the police come, I'll be ruined. My whole career, everything. Not if it's suicide, old man. They can't blame you for that. I'm a minister of religion. If it gets out that a beautiful girl was found dead in a hotel bedroom, I'll be finished. You should have thought about that before you began. Jim Beth. I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do for you. It is very bad for our hotel, too, you know. 
Can you help me? Well, I would, but I don't see what I can do. When you're ready, boys. Okay, we're on our way. Please, Guy, think of Sister Charity. It would break her heart. Well, I don't know. Who's this so early in the day? It's almost like the press. What? Oh, no. You know them? They're from the radio. They've been following me. Oh, yes. They telephoned very early from the BBC. Harry Cassidy investigates. They said your wife told them you were down here buying some land. My for wife? You. Please, Guy. I'll give you anything you want. You don't know what you're saying. You're in shock. No. All of you. Anything you want. If you can just get me out of this. Anything? Seems to be for you. I never knew she felt that way. Mr. De Angelis, who else in your organization knew that Fleur was going to be with you last night? No one. We left separately. What about her family? She's told me she didn't have anybody, and that was why. Can you help me, Guy? Can you? Well, we can't help her. Do you still want to call the police? Do you? Do you? What's he offering? Well, Reverend. It seems we're talking market forces here after all. Good morning, Reverend. Sister Charity told us last night at the Woman of the Year convention that you may have found your land for the new Jerusalem theme park down here. That's right. It's called Lavender Bay Tulip Farm. Now, if you'll excuse us, we're on our way there now. So you won't mind if we go with you to verify it for our listeners? Yes, we do mind. Who do you think you are, dogging people around like this, interfering with our lives? Lavender Bay is private land, and if you come near it, I'll have the police on to you. We are doing our duty, sir. Come on. Thanks, Guy. I thought they were never going to go. I was freezing. For a corpse, you look awful lovely. I just don't understand how she could have done all that without my knowing anything about it. Philip de Perron, wasn't it? What was that? Extraordinary stuff. The aristocracy used to ask for it before they faced the guillotine during the French Revolution. Half of them died in their sleep, so to speak. Crazy, crazy girl. That'll be quarter of a million. Quarter of a... 200 for the land, and 50 to seal the lips of the hotel staff. You sure you can... Dispose of the body. Leave that to me. I'll never forget what you're doing for me, Guy. Without you, I just don't know what I would have done. I'll take a check. Our lawyers can sort out the details later. The most sacred part of England. We've been waiting for you since the Reformation, brother. That's it. Come on, we have to go. Okay, Sophie, Fleur, we need to move down to the cars right now. Come on, come on! We need to go right now.
Not too early, am I? Perfect timing. Mr. Buchanan is inside waiting for you. Ah, and um, was it a success, your conference? <laughs> that would be an official secret. Goodbye, and thank you very much again. Goodbye. Joshua? Jerry? What are you doing with the shades drawn? Are you sick? Joshua, I didn't think you were coming back this time. How can you think such a thing? I didn't win. They didn't make me first Pentecostal evangelical woman of the year. Ain't that just like the English? What'd you say we get out of here? You know, honey, sometimes I think I was happier when you was working at the filling station. I shouldn't mention this, but you and the Angelus, I mean, before he passed out, you went off a quiet in there. You're right, you shouldn't mention it. The beauty of it is, he was actually grateful to me for helping him. You are sure? The check is good? Well, it will be the moment we give him the deeds. Well, go on, Cassidy, let him in. They won't bite us now. Kangaroos. Hello, Guy. How are you? Very pleased to see you. Isn't it good news? We're going to buy it back. Sorry about the mistake. Oh, please, don't apologize. No need to apologize at all. Then could we have the... You haven't heard, have you, about Lavender Bay? What about Lavender Bay? Kent County Council want you for a truck depot for the Channel Tunnel. They've issued a compulsory purchase order. <laughs> they only want to give me a million pounds for it. Isn't always the easiest job in the world. 